Sorry, just had to do it. Everybody on YouTube does it. I just had to do it the once. I promise never to do it again. Um, <laughs> we're just doing another Stitch of the Week video, and this is a spider's web stitch. Um, Apologise for the, if you can hear the noise in the background. It's the printer as usual, so um, just bear with. It's not that bad, really, is it? Um, so we're going to do the spider's web stitch. Now, you can do this with a different number of kind of spines coming in every time, and it will look different. I've got a couple of examples here before we start. So. This one is using five, this one is using six, uh, seven, eight, this one's nine. So you can see you can get quite different results on depending on how tightly you pack it and how many spines you use as well. So we're going to start from the beginning. So we're going to come into the center and then this is better if you generally put a template on it because you'll get things a little bit more even. We're going freestyling. So we need six, we'll start with six spines I think on this one. So one and oops i'm trying to get back in the center there my knot's just getting in the way a little bit there we go two actually i'm going to have eight i'm going to start with four nice even ones and then we'll put the extra two in i'm always coming back into the center to try and get those nice and even three fingers crossed this is going to be pretty it doesn't look that even at the minute but it's upside down and back to front and you know the way we sew um, and there's four and now I'm just going to put the ones in between there now it doesn't always have to be even if you kind of have a look at some of the other ones that are on here I'll just show you very quickly you can do them so that all your points are at the bottom so you get almost shell like features on them so they don't have to always be super even uh, so that is our fifth we'll just put a couple more in six uh two more seven and last one eight and then i'm going to tie this off at the back you can do them all in the same color in which point you wouldn't have to change your thread i'm actually going to change the color just so you can see what the needle and the thread is doing and um, so i'm going to flip that over and just tie that off at the back very very quickly uh would normally tie put a bit more effort into making sure that's really secure because when you're weaving the thread in and out it is going to pull on those and add tension to it so it's definitely worth spending a little bit of time just to tie those off really nice and tight okay so now we are going in with the yellow and this is all over the place this is a really kind of irregular shape but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it does give you quite nice uh, features if you want them nice and and kind of regular like that then it is worth putting a drawing a little template on first or even just putting the spots on where you're going to take your thread to and one for the center just to keep things nice and even so from here i'm going to bring this thread in at the center or as close as the center as i can get and then it's simply weaving picking a start point and weaving over and under now you can just weave over and under and that will give you one effect. What you can also do is a slightly different technique, which I'm going to show you now, which will give you that spider's web effect and will give you these ridged pieces here. So what I'm doing is I'm going uh, backwards for one and forwards for two and then just pulling that nice and tight. Turning it around again, I'm going backwards for one, forwards for two. And you can try this in, I'm just going to move that little bit of white thread there. You can try it with different amounts that you go kind of how many threads you go forward and how many threads you go backwards. But this, as a because it's a woven stitch, will build really, really quickly. And it's just always a case of pulling it down, keeping those threads nice and taut, nice and tight as you work. So if you can give me a couple of minutes, I'll whiz around and get this finished off and I'll show you the finished result. So we're just going to finish this off. What I put on there was quite an irregular shape because I was stitching upside down and back to front and I didn't put any marks on. Um, so if you have got an irregular shape, you can see these kind of three round the top that aren't really covered yet. And I'm going to show you how to cover those. So I've just brought my needle down uh, over here because that was the last one that I, I wrapped. So I'm just going to bring it back up, but I'm going to bring it up on the inside of this first green one because what I want to do is create that wrapped effect so i'm going to go back for one and forward for two 
and that will allow me to keep that same direction, that same wrapped effect, but on these smaller pieces where I've just got two or three strands to do. So back for one, forward for two, let me just get that unhooked from there. And one more, so back for one. Now if I want to finish that off there, because I haven't got any more that I want to cover, then all I need to do is take that thread back down to the back and that will create that same looped effect. So I'll do it once more on that top one. I need to bring it on the inside of there and then come backwards for one. And if it gets a bit tight towards the top, what you may find it easier to do is come through them um, individually. So that's come under the first one and then come under the second one. And then again, backwards for one, forwards for two. And just keep going until you've got all of that external thread, that green thread that we've put on here covered in. And that means you can create really interesting shapes. So if you've got a funny space to fill, then working in that irregular shape is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's gonna give you quite a lot of texture to your work as well. So that is a spider's web stitch. Um, there's lots of different ways, as I've shown you, that you can do it. You can create it so it's all the points are converged at the bottom and you're weaving it that way. Or you can do it as many points as you like. So that's a lovely one there that's got nine. And you can change colours all the way through to so create that kind of bullseye effect as well. So that's one of the stitches that's in the knots stitchinary. You can find lots more of our videos on YouTube and lots of our products on craftyselfsilly.com.